Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in this video, I share my experience, how I master an ambient music. So uh, I show you my hybrid uh, mastering chain and uh, I cover some fundamental tools and uh, mastering techniques you may apply to master your own tracks in uh, this genre. So before we start, Please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bestmastering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. It really helps me to bring more videos. And now, let's get started. <laughs> Mastering uh, ambient music uh, requires a nuanced approach to capture the subtleties, depths and the immersive qualities that are characteristic of this genre. Today I've got this mysterious semantic orchestral piece with the female vocal, piano, strings, chords and epic drums. And uh, first let's have a listen to a part of this uh, track uh, before I show you my hybrid mastering engine and give you some practical tips to help you master ambient music effectively. First, I start with subtle harmonic processing to add warmth and character to this mix. Black's Box HG2 is my uh, choice for ambient music. I personally prefer to put it first in the chain for the following uh, reason. The HG2 really loves... Uh, transients and I get the most out of it by feeding it material with uh, transients. It is able to control the peaks without the negative effects uh, associated with the attack and uh, release parameters of a compressor so I can increase density in a very natural sounding way. The ability to control the material also means that I need less compression or limiting downstream which usually results in a bigger more open and transparent uh, sounding result. My approach of using the black box is uh, very subtle since it is a mastering case. I put pentot gain control at about 2 o'clock and triad gain at about 1 o'clock and output uh, attenuation at about 10 o'clock. I use just a small amount of the uh, saturation. Next, I start dealing with the frequency balance. I want to be sure that I've got a balanced mix with clear lows, large mids, and detailed highs. I use my hot orange EQ to sculpt the tonal character and uh, remove any unwanted resonances. In this uh, genre of music, uh, resonances, phasing issues, and uncontrolled bass frequencies are the common problems I uh, come 
across. As you can see, I uh, make a low cut at 25 hertz and uh, uh, to take care of the very low end uh, rumble, which does not uh, really add anything to this uh, track. I also cut some resonances in low mid area, in mid portion, within 100, 400-ish uh, region uh, to make the track more relaxed, uh, so to say. Next, I do some broad uh, redistribution of the frequencies to give the track richness and the warmth. My favorite EQ for this task is uh, DW Fern VT5, and um, I boost 100 hertz. It uh, doesn't add a rumble, it adds some nice roundness and richness. Next, to get a global boost from the analog tube EQ that's got the juice, I boost 12K and it gives that nice sparkly bright top and with, without being harsh. And uh, next I use another additive analog EQ, which is better make a mastering uh, EQ and I use it in MS mode. I uh, support the vocal by boosting uh, 0.67 dB at um, uh, 2.2 and uh, 6.4 regions in uh, Mona. I also boost uh, the sides around uh, 16, 17 K to add spaciousness to the track. So please have a look at my settings um, on the screen. Next, uh, since ambient um, music likes to be spacious, I had a tiny bit of st stereo widening using my beloved on the moon spacecraft from Matthew Lane. It complements uh, this ambient track quite well. Please have a look at my uh, settings. And uh, next I start uh, controlling dynamics, but very lightly. I use gentle compression to control dynamics uh, and avoiding heavy-handed um, processing that can flatten the nuances in uh, ambient music. I aim uh, to maintain the dynamic ebb and uh, flow to preserve the immersive quality. So um, I use for this task my beloved Alpha compressor from Elysia, and I use it in a parallel mode. Uh, the ambient music especially uh, benefits from this type of uh, compression. I use the fastest attack time, uh, which is uh, 0.01 millisecond milliseconds and um, uh, very slow release time is about one sec and uh, ratio 1.5 uh, uh, to 1 uh, and 50 percent um, uh, wet not to touch uh, transient uh, peaks uh, please have a look at my settings finally I apply uh, limiting, and uh, for this task I use uh, uh, my Sonax uh, limit. And as you remember, before limiting I applied parallel compression to bring up the overall level. And uh, now I push the limiter just uh, enough to shape the peaks. Ambient music benefits from preserving its natural dynamics. Therefore, I don't want to be overly aggressive with limiting. I just want to let the music breathe. One more thing. Keep in mind that ambient music is meant to create a particular atmosphere and mood. Therefore, master your own tracks with the listener's immersive experience in mind. Ambient just needs to flow and uh, surround you. Immersive is the key word here. And now let's have a listen to um, the final master version. 